All right, hello everyone. Um, in our previous video about Caldera abilities, I mentioned that I would be skipping over payloads in that video and coming back to them later to cover them in more depth. And that's what I'll be doing in this video. But before I talk about how payloads work within the context of Caldera, I just want to make sure that we all have a similar definition of what a payload is. And all a payload is is an executable file or script of some sort that lives on attacker infrastructure. So in our case, it lives in our Caldera server. Um, but the purpose of it is to be transferred to a victim host that we want to actually execute the file on. Um, and so it, they, they start off living on attacker infrastructure, but they get delivered to the victim host and then they execute on that victim host. And typically they're doing some type of malicious activity or they are collecting some type of data that then be sent back to the command and control server. Um, so that is uh, my definition of what a payload is. Um, and now that we covered that and kind of understand what they are, we can talk about how they work within Caldera. Um, so when you load up Caldera, you can scroll down on, on the left side of your page here, you'll see this um, payloads button. And that brings you here where it shows you um, both your local payloads, payloads that you've added yourself, and also the payloads that come with Caldera by default through its plugins. So uh, just with uh, default Caldera, you, 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 Caldera, you will get all of these um, payloads. But in our case, I also added my own payload uh, for the purpose of this demo. Hi, everyone. Just a quick interruption. Uh, I was watching that video back and realized that I never actually included how to upload your own payload. Um, and so I want to show that really quickly before we move on. Uh, so it's a very simple process. We just hit this upload a payload button. And this will allow you to open up your file explorer. And then once you um, open your file explorer, you can navigate to whatever directory you need to um, to actually find your payload. And then just by double clicking on the payload, it will allow you to hit this upload button right here. And that's how you get your payload into Caldera. Um, now, all of the steps that follow in the main video are based on me uploading my payload in this exact same way. Um, just to give you some confidence that, you know, if, if you upload your payloads in this manner as well, uh, you will have the same results that I do in the rest of this video. Um, so thank you very much. And let's get back to the main video now. It is called payload underscore demo, but all it does is run who am I on the host that it is executed on. Um, obviously, you know, in a real world scenario, you would probably have uh, a much more um, intricate payload that, you know, you're trying to run, you know, certain code and things like that. Um, but for the purposes of this demo, I'm just going to run this uh, very simple payload that just executes who am I on the host. Now, how you actually do that is um, by creating abilities. And we've already had the demo on how to create abilities. So this should all look uh, very familiar. And because of that, I just kind of, I have this pre-created that we were not going over um, the ability stuff again. But basically I have this payload, um, this ability called payload demo. Um, it's discovery, it's running who am I. I have delete payload unchecked because in this case, I don't actually want the payload to delete from the machine because I want to show you how it got there. Or I want to show you that it's actually there and running on the machine. Um, if this was a real world scenario, you would probably want to have delete payload checked. That way it actually gets removed from the host once you're done. Uh, we come down here, we have uh, Linux selected, and then I actually have my payload selected. You can, you can scroll through these to find what payload you want. Um, and so I am using the payload underscore demo.sh like I mentioned. And then the command is just very simply um, executing that payload. Now, to make this just a little bit easier, um, if you've already watched the adversary video, this will all make sense as well. But I'm just going to go ahead and add that ability to an adversary. That way we can run it automatically through operations. Um, so again, I'm not going to go over this. We've already talked about this in a previous video. But now what I'm going to do is create a new operation. We will call it demo. And we're going to be running that adversary that we just made with the ability that's going to run that payload for us. I'm going to press start. And you'll see that we have um, the ability that we just made payload demo has run successfully. And the 
command that it ran is payload underscore demo dot sh but the output is showing caldera so we know that this actually did run who am i and the way that that works is in this directory that i have here um you can see that this it was actually moved to the host um so i actually probably should have showed it this way uh so right now there is no payload demo dot h uh dot sh on the host um, so if I try to run it, nothing happens. It doesn't exist. Uh, payload demo, yes. Um, nothing happens. Nothing. It doesn't exist on the host yet. Let me go ahead and rerun this now. So you'll see it was added back onto the host when I ran that command. Um, so Caldera, it's, the agent is actually pulling this off of Caldera and it is moving it onto the host to run. And so that's how this is working. I can, you know, remove it again. And it's no longer on the host. I rerun it. It's not there yet. And there it is. Um, so that is how payloads work within Caldera. Um, they live on Caldera. The agent says, hey, I'm going to run this ability. And to do that, I need to pull this payload down. And so it pulls the payload down onto the host. And then it can actually run it on the host. Now, if delete payload was um, checked off in the abilities bucket, um, this would no longer be on the host automatically. But because I, I purposely turned off um, delete payload, this stays on the host until I come back and manually, manually delete it. So that was a, um, a pretty quick demo of how payloads work within Caldera. Uh, I will mention that there is... A lot more information that you can get um, going to the Caldera Read the Docs. Uh, we mentioned payloads. We mentioned how you can, you know, pack payloads with UPX. And then there's also even a section about, you know, dynamically compiling payloads. Um, all of that is out of scope for this video. Uh, this was just supposed to be, you know, a quick video that shows you how payloads work within Caldera. But if you're interested in learning more, please check out the Read the Docs. Thank you.